Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about life care planning and how it's necessary in people with traumatic brain injuries, especially those involved in litigation. So if the brain injury was caused by another person's fault or negligence, you know, we've established already that a traumatic brain injury is a lifelong injury, even the mild ones. So many times the question comes up as to what sorts of treatment or um, other items, diagnostic tests, things like that, will a person need over their lifetime so that that can be quantified and be part of a jury award or a settlement or things like that. So what's a life care planner and uh, what do they do? A life care planner is generally someone who is very advanced in the medical field, not necessarily a doctor. Many times it can be a psychologist. Sometimes it can just be a certified medical life care planner. And what they do is they meet with all of the various treating physicians of the person with the brain injury to determine what sorts of things they'll need in the future. If it's combined with an orthopedic or spinal injury, um, they will look into what sort of surgeries, MRIs, things like that they'll need over their lifetime and how often that has to occur and at what intervals. And then, of course, the same thing as it relates to the traumatic brain injury, and that may include uh, specialized MRIs or DTIs specifically, which stands for diffusion tensor imaging tests, or things like... Um, yearly inpatient stays at brain injury clinics. So the life care planner will meet with those folks and get not only what is being requested, but how many times per year or every five years or whatever. And then they go out into the marketplace and they price it. What they do then is prepare a report that is... Um, uh, basically a quantification of what those doctors have said to them and they also get all the doctors to sign off on that so that if the doctors are deposed and they have to testify about those things it'll be fresh in their mind that they met with this person and that's what they believe this person the injured person truly needs over their lifetime but it doesn't stop there because as we know you know if we buy a loaf of bread today it costs a lot less than it will in a year or two from now because of inflation and medical inflation exists also with regard to the uh, medical expenses that people incur over time. The only difference is that medical inflation rises at a faster rate than ordinary inflation. So in that instance, once the life care planner has prepared their report, it's very important to have that report <clears throat> evaluated by a forensic CPA or accountant so that they can use historical models to predict what that inflation will be over time and then take the numbers that the life care planner has given them and kind of extrapolate those inflationary rises in cost for those various medical needs throughout the person's lifetime. And it'll be based on, of course, mortality rates and actuarial schedules to determine how long that person is likely to live and the inflationary rates that will occur over time. So if your loved one is involved in any sort of litigation where it could result in either a settlement or a judgment in a court, that will be very necessary information and evidence to present in order to make sure that that person has the appropriate funds available to them for the duration of their lifetime. I hope you enjoyed this video today and we'll talk again soon. Thanks a lot.